little bit, just just a little bit. Turn, 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 turn. You just knocked over my motorcycle. Sorry about that. I didn't see it. May I see your license, please, sir? Don't have one. Don't need one. Sir, in the state of California, everybody needs a license to drive. Not him, officer. He's blind. That's why I didn't see your motorcycle. A blind man is driving this car? But I helped him. And I can see, and I have a driver's license. Let me see if I follow this. You have a license, and you can see. But you're in the back seat, and you're blind, and you don't have a license, and you're driving. Well, I was driving earlier, officer, but we switched. You switched so a blind man without a driver's license could drive the car. It wasn't my idea. Oh, so you let a blind man talk you into switching so we could drive the car. No, officer. He didn't talk me into it. See, I'm his pastor. And I was in the back seat with his wife, and then he just took off. Okay, let me see if I got this straight. The blind man is driving, and the holy man is in the back seat with the blind man's wife. There's really a perfectly good explanation for this. Well, it better be good. It better be real good. Officer, I know it's a little unusual letting a blind man drive a car. But see, it all started this morning. When Mrs. Dixon, Vanita, Cassie, Little T, and Mona were getting ready for the church's annual bake sale. T, how come you're tasting everybody's cookies for the bake sale but mine? Well, Cassie, that's because I've tasted yours. I know exactly how good they are. <laughs> you don't like my cookies, do you? I if I did like your cookies. Does it matter? I mean, they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And boo, you already got my heart. So don't worry about my little tummy wummy bummy boo. How are we ever going to be a real couple if you don't like my cooking? Well, it would just be like my mom and dad. <laughs> mm, it smells good in here. Oh, well, thank you, Reverend. It's a new fragrance called Lair du Provence. <laughs> no, Mona, actually, I think the Reverend's smelling Lair du Chocolate Chip. <laughs> Now, these bad boys are good! No, T, T, give me this. Here, baby, give me, put that down. Give me here, give me here, God! What's wrong? These look like Sister Bertha Lee Johnson's rum ball cookies. <laughs> and if they are, these things are 80 proof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's them! We can't sell these in church. Well, what are we going to do, Mrs. Dixon? She baked them. We don't want to hurt her feelings. Anymore. Well, and we won't. We won't. We'll just leave them here, and I'll tell her they sold first. <laughs> You're going to be arriving yep. soon. Come on. You got that. Okay. Come on. You got it? Yeah, I'll take the card. You got that? I need you to follow me. Reverend, I'm breaking up with tea. 
No, 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 don't get it twisted. I'm breaking up with Cassie. Oh, no, you not. Yes, I'm I breaking am. up with you. Hey, my fault you can't cook. Cool. Appreciate my cooking. Kool-Aid tastes like toe jam juice. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't even cook. Your mama should have taught you how to cook. Hey, you almost broke the salad. You didn't take it out the oven. All right, all right, hold on. Hold on. Reverend, I hate to waste your time. This is hopeless. And as far as I'm concerned, Reverend Rev, what she said. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than to help a couple in trouble. <laughs> What's the problem? Well, Reverend, sometimes T acts like a big old baby. Uh-uh, no, I don't. <laughs> see, you see what I mean? He has a whole lot of growing up to do. I just have one question for you, T. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> T, do you love Cassie? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Cassie, do you love T? I do. Then by the power invested in me by Santa Claus, oh, yeah, let's go your room, let it rain. I'm just playing with you, boy. Have a seat. <laughs> you want a cookie? <laughs> Did you eat all of those? Not yet. <laughs> hey, you ain't getting any either. Oh, Revy Rev, you just ate a whole fifth of rum. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Reverend, those are Sister Bertha Lee Johnson's rum ball cookies. That's right. You need a liquor license for those. <laughs> Reverend, they're illegal in this church. Is that why I feel so funny? <laughs> you're not funny, Rev. You're downright drunk. <laughs> But I can't be drunk. I'm a minister. Reverend, the Carltons are here for their appointment, and oh. the bake sale sold out. And since everyone else is gone, do you mind if I leave a little early? No, no, you go ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead and tell the Carltons I'll be with them in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Okay, Bye, good, good night, Benita. All right. Now, I need to sober up before I meet with the Carltons, so uh, T slap me. What? Come over here and slap me. I rep. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't slap the rabbit rap. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> right, this, this is not working. Slap him. <laughs> I can't. Pretend it's me. <laughs> Gee, if I were you, I'd do everything I could to keep Cassie happy. Rev, you got that right. Come on, boo. I love you. I'll pay your rent, girl. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Carlton. Come on in. Thank you. Jackie, how you doing? Great, great. Phil, how's it going? <laughs> I'm blind, not deaf. <laughs> right you are, Phil, right you are. Smell like some woman drinking rum in here. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's, that's bay rum. It's a new cologne I got for Christmas. And I'm not drinking it, I'm wearing it. <laughs> what, honey? Oh, just a little kid. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, uh, uh, that's why we're here. Yes. Uh, we we want to schedule a baby's baptism. Schedule a baptism. <laughs> Let me uh, check my book. <laughs> Look, it's all open. So uh, anytime the baby's ready, I'm ready. Do you know uh, if you're having a boy or girl? Why? It's the same ceremony, isn't it? No. <laughs> You're right, just being a busybody. <laughs> Jane, are you sure you okay? Oh, I'm fine. It's, it's just, uh, it's just Braxton Hicks, honey. Is that the name, if it's a boy? <laughs> oh, oh, no, Reverend. Uh, Braxton Hicks are false contractions that often happen in the weeks adding up to... Oh, oh, what? Oh, What's these are not false. No, it's oh, not. Are you having a baby? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that not. baby's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
and uh, oh my we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll go to that uh, that baby having place. The hospital. Yes, the hospital. <laughs> my car's over here. Okay. 
Tell me about my son. What's he look like? Well, I gotta tell you, Phil, he looks just like you. Only he's a lot smaller. <laughs> he got your nose on. He has Jackie's smile. So if he has Jackie's smile, he must be beautiful. Phil, he sure is. He sure is. Now, how's Jackie? The last time I saw her, she she looked really happy. Thank you, Reverend. <laughs> We're gonna name the baby after you, yeah? David. Uh, we're gonna need a middle name. What kind of car is this? Plymouth? David Plymouth Cart. <laughs> Sounds like he came over on the Mayflower. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're getting it, Phil. We, uh, we're in the ambulance zone. We're gonna have to move. No problem. <laughs> Go up a little bit, just, just a little bit. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. And that, officer, is when you came up to the car. So I'm supposed to believe that you accidentally got drunk on church cookies and that blind man drove the car so you could deliver his baby in the back seat. That's right. I told you it makes perfectly good sense. Gentlemen, step out of the car, please. <laughs> Face the car with your hands behind your back. You're both under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You give up the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for Next week on Good News. Ms. Dixon, you got me an attorney. I sure did. Judith! Now, Reverend, I believe you've met my niece, yes. Judith Laurie Esquire. That means she's a lawyer. How long have you been a lawyer? Counting today. <laughs> yeah, count today. <laughs> Three days. Mrs. Dixon, would you let her defend you? If I was foolish enough to let a blind man drive my car. <laughs> yes, I would. All right, are we ready for opening statements? Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Counselor, <laughs> what exactly is going on here? My client has been accused 
of being reckless and letting the blind man drive under his direction. Now, I'm going to prove once and for all that he was not. Go forward. Good. Now left. Left. Good. Good for you. Doing good. And turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. And stop. 